welcome students to the second module of chapter number 3 addition and subtraction in this module we will be learning word problems of subtraction and mixed examples of addition and subtraction students in previous module you have learned subtraction by borrowing in detail so let us solve some word problems of subtraction here is the first example prathamesh wants to buy a laptop worth 27450 rupees he has 22975 rupees what is the amount he still needs to be able to buy the laptop now to understand the problem well and to know what to write as statement ask these questions What is twenty seven thousand four hundred and fifty rupees? What is twenty two thousand nine hundred and seventy five rupees? The answers to these questions will help us to form the statements for the solution. Twenty seven thousand four hundred and fifty rupees is the cost of the laptop so we write the statement as cost of the laptop 27450 rupees 22975 is the amount prathamesh has so we write the statement as amount prathamesh has 22975 now let us subtract the amount prathamesh has from the cost of the laptop to get the answer thus here we have got prathamesh still needs rupees Four thousand four hundred and seventy-five rupees to be able to buy the laptop. Here is the next question. A company produced forty-four thousand seven hundred and thirty scooters in a certain year, and forty-three thousand. One hundred and fifty in the next. How many more scooters did they produced in the previous year? Now, let us understand the question. What is forty-four thousand seven hundred and thirty? Forty-four thousand seven hundred and thirty are the number of scooters produced in a certain year. So we write the statement as scooters produced in a year forty-four thousand seven hundred and thirty. What is forty-three thousand? One hundred and fifty. Forty-three thousand one hundred and fifty are the number of scooters produced in the next year. So we write the statement as scooters produced in next year forty-three thousand one hundred and fifty. Now, 
let us subtract the number of scooters produced in next year from the number of scooters produced in a previous year. So, here we have got 1580 more scooters produced in the previous year. Question is, an organization decided to collect 25 lakh rupees for a certain project. They collected 26 lakhs 57,340 through donations and other kinds of aid. By how much did they exceed their target? Now, let us understand the question. What is 25 lakh? 25 lakh is the amount decided to collect for a certain project. Therefore, we write the statement as the amount decided to collect 25 lakhs. What is 26 lakh 57,340? This amount is collected through donation and other kinds of aid. So, we write the statement amount collected 26,57,340. Now, let us subtract amount decided to collect from the amount collected to get the answer. So here we have got the organization exceed their target by rupees 1,57,340. Let us solve some mixed word problems of addition and subtraction. Here is the first question. The forest department planted 23,078 trees of hair. 19,476 of beda besides trees of several other kinds. If the department planted 50,000 trees, all together, how many trees were neither of care nor of beheda? Let us try to understand the question well. Here, what is 23,078? 23,078 are the number of care trees. So, we write the statement as number of care trees 23,078. Now, what is 19,476? 19,000 476 are the number of Beheda trees. So, we write the statement as number of Beheda trees 19,476. Now, let us add these two numbers to get 
the total number of hair and beda trees so here we have got the total number of hair and beda trees are 42554 now we have 50000 as the total number of trees planted by the forest department and we have 42554 are the total number of trees of khair and behda now let us subtract the total number of khair and behda trees from the total trees planted by the forest department so here we have got 7446 trees where neither of khair nor of behda here is the next question the management of a certain factory had 25 lakh 40600 rupees in the labor welfare fund from this fund 12 lakh 37865 rupees were used for medical expenses 8 lakh 42317 rupees were spent on the education of the workers children and the remaining was put aside for a canteen how much money was put aside for the canteen let us understand the example well here what is 12 lakh 37865 12 lakh 37865 is the amount used for medical expenses so we write the statement as medical expenses 12 lakh 37865 now what is 8 lakh 42317 8 lakh 42317 is the amount spent on the education of the workers children so we write the statement as education expenses 8 lakh 42317 now let us add these two expenses to get the total amount spent on medical and education by the management of the factory thus we have got 20 lakh 80182 rupees were spent on medical and education we know that 25 lakh 40600 is the amount in labor welfare fund and we have got 20 lakh 80182 is the total amount spent on medical and education now let us subtract 
the total amount spent on medical and education from the amount in labor welfare fund to get the answer so we have got rupees 4 lakh 60 thousand 480 put aside for the canteen Next question, for a three-day cricket match, 13,608 tickets were sold on the first day and 8,955 on the second day. If all together, 36,000 563 tickets were sold in 3 days. How many were sold on the third day? Let us try to understand the example. Now here, what is 13,608? 13,000 608 are the number of tickets sold on the first day of cricket match. So, we write the statement as tickets sold on first day 13,608. Now, what is 8,955? 8,955 are the number of tickets sold on the second day of cricket match. So, we write the statement as tickets sold on second day 8,955. Now, let us add these two numbers to get the total number of tickets sold on the first and the second day of cricket match. Therefore, here we have got 22,563 tickets were sold on the first and the second day of cricket match. Here, we have 36,563 as the total number of tickets sold in 3 days of a 3-day cricket match. And we have 22,563 are the number of tickets sold on the first and the second day of a three-day cricket match. Let us subtract the total number of tickets sold on first and the second day from the total number of tickets sold in three days to get the answer. So here we have got 14 1000 tickets were sold on the third day of a 3 day cricket match.